Yet another noticeable change in the Trump administration. Another top level official is out. Yeah, the president fired Veterans Affairs Secretary David Shulkin. Kick on Eye political reporter Dave Bryan has more on the latest shakeup at the White House that occurred earlier today. Dave. Absolutely. Another, it's not a shocker really in this right. case because they've been talking about it for weeks. He's had a lot of trouble with an inspector general's report. Tonight, the White House makeover is in full swing. The latest cabinet secretary to bite the dust, as we mentioned, Dr. David Shulkin, who fell out of favor with President Trump and charged he was being forced out following a critical report from the inspector general. Shulkin got a call from the chief of staff tipping him off that he was fired, and then came the tweet. President Trump fired another member of his cabinet by Twitter Wednesday evening. Veterans Affairs Secretary Dr. David Shulkin. The presidential farewell message, I am thankful for Dr. David Shulkin's service to our country and to our great veterans. Mr. President, thank you so much. Shulkin had been notified by a phone call earlier in the day from White House Chief of Staff John Kelly that the president is firing him. For weeks leading up to the firing, Washington was buzzing that Shulkin, a holdover from the Obama administration, would be gone soon. The trouble for him started months ago when an inspector general's report in February determined that Shulkin used taxpayer dollars to purchase his wife's plane ticket to Europe last summer and improperly accepted free tickets to a Wimbledon tennis match. He paid back $4,300 after it became public. But the smell of corruption was fanned by front page headlines and Shulkin became a political liability to President Trump. The VA's inspector general's report said that there were a number of serious derelictions, saying Shulkin made misleading statements and turned an aide into a personal travel concierge, making arrangements for a high tea and Roman baths. Last month, Colorado Congressman Mike Kaufman, the chairman of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, said he's seen enough and called on Shulkin to step down. He's really part of the culture of corruption that, that too often defines this organization. I, I just don't think that, that he has the moral authority to clean it up. Later, Shulkin apologized, not for defrauding the taxpayers, but for the distraction it caused. I publicly acknowledge that uh, the distraction that's happened that you've talked about is something that I deeply regret. Shulkin thus joins five other Trump administration cabinet secretaries who, in the last 14 months, were either reassigned, fired, or resigned. Over just the last few weeks, uh, we've seen the national security advisor, the secretary of state, uh, dismissed abruptly um, on Twitter uh, in the case of Secretary of State Tillerson in a way that was uh, personally humiliating. Um, it is concerning to me that the president is increasingly um, seeming to manage his cabinet more like this is a reality TV show uh, than like it is a serious leadership effort on behalf of the interests of the United States. President Trump has nominated the White House doctor to replace Shulkin and run the Veterans Affairs Department. Ronnie Jackson has been the chief presidential physician since 2013, serving both President Obama and now President Trump. He's best known for calling a wide-ranging news conference in January to erase any doubts about President Trump's excellent health. The president's overall health is excellent. Absolutely, he's fit for duty. I think he will remain fit for duty for the remainder of this term and even for the remainder of another term uh, if he's elected. And the exam included a cognitive assessment that would detect dementia or Alzheimer's. He has absolutely no you know, cognitive or uh, mental issues whatsoever that he is very sharp. But Dr. Jackson, a rear admiral in the Navy, may have his hands full now. If he's confirmed by the Senate, he'll be taking over one of the largest and most problematic bureaucracies in the U.S. government. Jeff, Suzanne, back to you. Okay.